This use update is brought to you by. Everyone's looking for more space. How many pairs of shoes do you need? Closet space. Circle again. I think I see one. Parking space. And that is how Pythagoras theorem works. Understand? Even headspace. But when it comes to data storage, MyCloud from Lime has plenty of room for you. Upgrade to a Lime data plan of 500 megs or more and get 3 gigs of MyCloud data storage free. It's great for storing photos, music, and much more. So don't delete it. Store it on MyCloud from Lime. It's the only space to be. Upgrade to Lime! Welcome to the Bobby This Day Afternoon Update. It's Thursday, January 22nd, 2015. I'm Kmar Jordan. We begin with breaking news at this hour. Police and other emergency officials are on the scene of an apparent electrocution in Wilde St. Michael. Our reporter Marlon Madden is on the scene and he reports that Defense Force, Fire Service and Light and Power Technicians were among the first responders. The victim is said to be a man who was working on the roof of the building at the time of the incident. Barbados today has also learned that the victim was an employee of BRC Limited located in Edge Hill, St. Thomas and that he was one year away from retirement. No further details were available up to news time. Meantime, an elderly Christchurch man is this island's first road fatality for 2015. 76-year-old Dennis Wentworth Linton of Barracks Hill, Christchurch, died last night at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital after the car he was driving collided with a truck at the junction of Bennett's and Sandy Lane, St. James. The truck was driven by 51-year-old James Boyce of Kingsland, Christchurch. Wentworth Linton was trapped in his car and had to be pulled out by members of the Barbados Fire Service following the accident which occurred around 3 p.m. yesterday. A 25-year-old St. Joseph man is now in stable condition at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital following a shooting incident at Joe's River. Sherlyn Cumberbatch was shot several times about his torso sometime around quarter past four yesterday afternoon. Police believe the shooting was the result of an earlier dispute. Investigations are continuing. In other news, a Jamaican woman appeared in court this morning charged with committing serious bodily harm. 25-year-old Kirion Kelly of Baker's Road, Hagger Hall, St. Michael, appeared in the District A Magistrate's Court before Magistrate Douglas Frederick and was remanded to jail until February 19 after she surrendered to police on Monday following a vicious attack on another woman. In other court developments, Barbadian Rihanna will be singing all the way to the bank following a big win against British high street giant Topshop. Rihanna sued Topshop's parent company, Arcadia, for five million U.S. dollars after it sold its sleeveless T-shirts bearing her name without her permission. Back in 2013, a high court judge ruled in Rihanna's favor on the grounds that consumers would buy the item on the false belief that Rihanna had approved it. Topshop appealed the ruling, arguing that it was wrong to assume that only a celebrity may ever market his or own, her own image. But three appeal court judges disagreed and upheld the ruling of the high court. They, however, made it clear that the ruling does not necessarily open the floodgates to similar claims. A three-day fact-finding mission by a top official of Delta State in Nigeria has come to an end. And despite ongoing challenges with a Barbados study program for 90 Nigerian students, the Deputy Governor Amos Utuama says he's satisfied that local authorities are doing all in their power to ensure that the educational program is a successful one. I believe we're on course. I've also visited the school and uh, the principal and all concerned are very eager to do their best to give the desired training so that the student will acquire the, the skills they have come here for. I have no doubt that with the support of all, particularly the government and people of the Bedos, as they have demonstrated, and even the press, uh, this, in, this important initial step we have taken will bear fruits of abundance for all of us. At the same time, the Barbados government's liaison officer for the nine-month project, Derek Murray, says he's happy with the progress being made so far in getting the students settled. I visited the students on the first day at Community College. They appeared settled and anxious to get on with their work. I'm certain that they're benefiting from the energy of being in the school um, setting that has restarted because, as you're aware, the other students from Community College, the Barbadian students, and other foreign students will be there already 
um, settling in. And um, we want to assure the public that the government will continue to watch, oversee, and ensure that the concerns of the students are dealt with, that they continue to benefit from this program. And consultant facilitator Donna St. Hill says efforts are being made to ensure that the living conditions for the students at the Casa Grande Hotel in St. Philip are comfortable as possible. The closest mall and shopping to us is Emerald City. It's about two bus stops away. So that they wouldn't have to do that. She's making a little tough shop on the premises. They can do their telephone top of cards, buy a little stationery and, and food and snacks and some small things. So we think that will make a, a lot of difference and, and, and we are looking forward to seeing that open in the next days or so. Um, in addition to that, some things that we hadn't looked out for, but I can see the students are enjoying them daily. The pool room, which is free to them. The gym, which is free to them. The, the several of the other amenities that come with the hotel. It has become an annual cry yesterday as the country marked Errol Barrow Day. Residents of the Garden St. Lucie reiterated their complaints for the authorities to do something to restore the birthplace of the island's founding father and national hero, Errol Walton Barrow. Residents complain that the house is now overrun by Bush and is in dire need of repair. There's regional and international news after this short break. It's grand. It's a celebration and it's just for you. It's Barbados Today's birthday bash and we are big on giving. Join the party and dance away with this fantastic deal. Book a full page graphic ad during our birthday week January 26 to 30 for an unbelievable $500. Or book five email blasts. Or better yet, take both offers and get great value. Join the celebrations on the number one media platform of choice. RSVP with our Barbados Today birthday team, Omisa and Tamisha at 417-1000. Let's get this party started. News from the region now, Jamaica, where bodies of American real estate executive Larry Glazer and his wife Jane have been recovered four months after their plane crashed. According to the Jamaica Civil Aviation Authority, their remains as well as the wreckage was recovered from the seabed 19 nautical miles north of Port Antonio. Authorities have been searching for the single engine seven-seater plane since it went down September 5 last year. The Cuban government, meantime, hosts United States officials for two days of high-level talks. The meeting, the first in decades between the two countries, forms part of efforts to thaw out relations. The talks will focus on migration and restoring full dem dipl diplomatic ties. So far, officials are describing the meeting as productive and collaborative. On the international scene, foreign ministers from 21 countries are in London for talks on ways to coordinate efforts to combat jihadist group ISIS. A U.S.-led coalition has been carrying out strikes against the militants since August, but the United Kingdom's Foreign Secretary, Philip Harmond, insists that much more needs to be done. And that's where we end our afternoon update, but you can join us again this evening. Until then, remember to log on to www.barbadostoday.bb, subscribe to our e-paper, our email updates, or better yet, you can like us on Facebook. And if you're out and about Barbados today, you can catch us on Izumi Media in a bus terminal or screenplay at a supermarket or a gas station near you. Also tune in to Channel 101 on Lime TV for all the very latest news and sports. And a special shout out this afternoon as well to all those tuned in on Mix FM. I'm Kmar Jordan. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you again this evening. This news update is brought to you by... Everyone's looking for more space. How many pairs of shoes do you need? 
Closet space. Circle again, I think I see one. Parking space. And that is how Pythagoras theorem works, understand? Even headspace. But when it comes to data storage, MyCloud from Lime has plenty of room for you. Upgrade to a Lime data plan of 500 megs or more and get 3 gigs of MyCloud data storage free. It's great for storing photos, music, and much more. So don't delete it. Store it on MyCloud from Lime. It's the only space to be.